Sights and Sounds is brought to you. We went to the movies. I forgot my wallet, but my brother sent me money. I pretended not to notice. Every day was a celebration. <laughs> Street Live in association with <sighs> We have fun time, fun all the time. <laughs> Everyone, you have a business <laughs> and a massage on the end of the caravan, and I got a business and a yambio cocuza van, a bacavana, cocula, bona, bacu the vaza de business young and humidizao, Oculandia Burundi, never Kaburundi, Kalenavana, Vangue, Galanga, one net at our way, eh, Kalera, the city will be business and humidizao and the combi, Nakumari is a corot. We have fun time, fun all the time. And the change of government won't stop a thing. I've run out of fingers counting the number of multinationals sitting up here. What about the three companies that announced their plans to launch last week? I say they're shortly. Me, I'd be looking to sell. At what price? More. Much, much more. Are you ready for your big break? The East African, understanding the region. for the 22nd Uma Trade Show that's going to run from today, Thursday the 2nd October, all the Friday the 10th of October. As we the place is not yet a hub of activity, but it's expected to pick up as the day go by. Later on in the bulletin, we'll be talking to the executive di director, Mr. Seba Galachigozi, who will give us more on the expectations and outlook of the show. For now, back to you, Malcolm, in studio. Thank you very much, Ingrid. Now take you there at uh, the uh, Ghana Manufacturer Association uh, showground where the International Trade Fair is going to take place. And you're welcome to NTV at one. We'll be getting to her as usual. Let's now go to the headlines. Service delivery and creating jobs. Prime Minister Hakan Argunda states his priorities as he is sworn into office. Also coming up, planning for the cities, regional mayors, city and urban development technical experts meet in Kampala. And police arrest 15, among them three women, following attacks in Webaja and Kajansi. Welcome to NTV at One. My name is Malcolm Simi. Now, Dr. Rahakana Ragunda has been sworn in, in uh, t today as a Prime Minister at a ceremony held at State House in Tebe before the President Yoram Museveni. Ministers and other high profile government officials were present. President Yoram Museveni appointed Ragunda as Prime Minister on the 18th of September last month while still serving as the Minister for Health. Ragunda set out his priorities before the President as service delivery and job 
job creation to absorb skilled youth. President Jeremy Museveni said he appointed Rugunda because he knew him, adding that he was, however, shocked by Parliament's un unanimous approval of him. Rugunda now becomes the sixth Prime Minister since President Museveni took power in 1986. He has previously held a series of cabinet posts, including being Minister of Works, Transport and Communication, Foreign Affairs, Minister for, for Information of, uh, at the Presidency, Minister Lands and Environment. Minister of Internal Affairs. He also served as chairman of the NRM Electoral Commission, member of parliament for Kabale Municipality, and as president of the governing council of the United Nations Environment Programme. That now takes us to our poll question this afternoon. What are your expectations of the new Prime Minister, Dr. Hakana Rugonda? And to have you say uh, opinion, a comment, text 6565, followed by your name and your location, and stay tuned uh, for some of these comments during this uh, newscast. And this uh, discussion also continues on Facebook and on Twitter. Now, President Yori Museveni has opened the annual international conference on urban development at Speak Resort Munyonyo. The conference is hosted on a revolving basis on different cities around the world. It brings together mayors, city planners, urban development technical experts and the private sector to discuss key challenges for future urban development, not only for global scale, uh, but essentially for the African region. The president has asked planners not only uh, to uh, not to only look at accommodation but build cities for commercial purposes. He also warned against the misuse of land in rural areas. We have a report. <laughs> And here in the urban, and, and the urban, urban centers are not just for staying there. They are really an instrument of reorganizing uh, society. Now, the police has uh, this have this morning taken to court 15 people suspected have been terrorizing the areas of Kajansi, Buewaja, and Kitende along Entebbe Road. And the gang that was held at Katwe Police Station includes three women. They were netted in uh, operations that include community policing and police vigilance. Masman, Irene Namutebi, Julu Faith, Seremba Noah, Mugera Farouk, Zainab, Subugajo. Babu Brett, Ngabi Yasin, Ad, Yang, Mutiaba, Godfrey. General Secretary of the Uganda National Teachers Union, Ionatu, James Tuheil, has asked stakeholders that they do their best in ensuring that they deliver quality education. The stakeholders include parents, teachers, religious leaders, and the students themselves, among others. And speaking ahead of the World Teachers' Day on the 5th of October, Tuheil praised the government for the timely payments of their salaries for last month, unlike the past when they were always delayed. The it's just the beginning. Let us not stop. Let's come together. Think right for education. Cannot simply for education. Unite for quality education. Since we are, we are, we are with you, we believe that we whatever it takes to make sure that 
Bintu nga maka, omukwano, ebyendia, ebya mirimu oba byabulamu ate okukumwa omubiri oba misono ejenja ulo. Abakugu bagenda kutanya ensonga zino nange Farida nakazwe buli runako okuba sawa sato okutoka sawa nya ezo kumacha. Tasubwa mwasaza mtia. On the last episode brought to you by Orange is the number one internet provider, giving you the fastest internet speeds everywhere. Burn it up. They've had their struggle throughout the competition to change their lives. They were originally 16 individuals, but now they have been cut down to 10. They've been tested, both mentally and physically, to make it this far. Now, the million dollar question is, who wins it? The grand finale show is on this Saturday. Burn it up, transforming lives. Orange is the number one internet provider. You can have the best internet experience in Uganda. Simply dial star 133 hash to buy an internet bundle. Today, changes with Orange. Welcome back. This is NTV at one hour. At the beginning, we uh, give you a poll question and uh, asking you what your expectations are of the new Prime Minister, Dr. Hakana Rugonda. And uh, also asked you to text all your comments, 6565, followed by your name and your location. And uh, of course, uh, right now, here are some of your uh, comments and opinions on our Facebook page. If you look for interview, Uganda, you could also be able to see that. But uh, we start with Wolyama Rogers, who says that uh, he killed it on Tuesday uh, by declaring to implement the uh, manifesto, the NRM manifesto, rather than government uh, programs. And who are some, Jeremiah says, um, not expecting much, uh, apart from him being used. Ekudo Samuel says, nothing more than following orders. Max uh, says, obviously, do as Sefo desires. Okay, most of you seem to be saying uh, the Prime Minister will do as he is um, required to do. But let's now take you back to Ingrid Nantegi, who is at the Ghana Manufacturers Association, uh, to check on how the fair is doing. There she is. Ingrid, uh, how are you? And uh, what is the mood at the ground so far? Thank you, Malcolm. We're here at the 22nd UMA Trade Fair, where we've been joined by the Executive Director of UMA, Mr. Sebagala Chigozi. Mr. Sebagala, thank you very much for joining You're us. You're welcome. Now, considering it's day one of the event, right. what's your outlook of the show this far? Um, first of all, happy that uh, you people of the media are echoing what we are doing. And uh, the first day is good, it's calm. And we thank God that it's not raining like yesterday. Uh, there are some few are still settling down, but I hope by four-ish or close of business today they will be done with uh, their stalls. But uh, everybody's come. Uh, there are so many exhibitors, as you are aware. And I think if we go on at this pace, we shall have a very, very nice show. So you speak of so many exhibitors. How many are we talking about in numbers? And that's international exhibitors as well as the local ones. We managed to register 1,263 uh, uh, exhibitors in all. Out of those, uh, uh, 398 uh, foreign exhibitors and uh, 866 uh, locals from all sectors of production. Well, that said then, what are your expectations of this show? What do you intend to achieve? Uh, the biggest aim of coming here is showcase. We normally have three sh things to consider. One is to show people what we do, not only in Uganda but even in the region at large. Two is to seek opinions of people from, uh, we get opinions from the, the showgoers. They tell us this is good, this is lacking. Uh, if you do it the other way around, it would, you know, be better for us. We, we get feedback from the, 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 the consumers. That's one second. The third thing is that we try to excite even those who are not yet in industry or manufacturing at, at, at large to get excited and see if they look around and see something they can start off with. Why not? Somebody can always say, no, I think I can manage this, and he, she takes it on. Of course, at the end of the day, there is a lot of entertainment, 
even moving around and see things you've never seen before is equally good. I think it's, it's, it's a lot to do. There is oh. a lot to do and see. Just now to finish up and to speak more specifically, mm. as organizers, what have you done differently this year on and what should maybe showgoers look out for? This time around we've incorporated the agriculture sector. We have, we have not had the agriculture sector coming so much. We've always had there as a, as a sector, but this time around they are coming here. We want to tell the public that even when you are not sitting in any TV, you can always have something on the ground. Because many people have got land somewhere which they are not you know, taking care of or they are not using. We, we think that is one way of doing it. Then we've got these micro uh, manufacturers, smaller ones, where people can start off from. They should not look at the big ones. They should look at the small ones. How have, I, how have they started and how can they copy from them? And those are many, and we think uh, they, they will copy from that. Then lastly, uh, Uganda National uh, Research Institute is here to show people how they can mold up or they can you know, style up in as far as their products are concerned. Thank you very much, Mr. Sebagala. So while the theme of this year's UMA Trade Show is building partnerships for sustainable markets and competitiveness, which ideally is in tandem with the whole purpose of this show, which is to just open up Ugandan products and everyone to the outside market, not just East Africa, but internationally. Well, for more from the trade show, tune in at 7 p.m. on Kaungezi, where your Gera Nafe will be here live. For now, back to you, Malcolm, in studio. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Ingrid Nantiki. They are speaking with the Executive Director of the, the Uganda Manufacturers Association. And uh, moving on now, the government of Uganda in collaboration uh, with um, the Association of Microfinance Institutions of Uganda and the National Union of Disabled Persons um, uh, of, of Uganda, that is NUDIP, will host a conference on microfinance and disability on um, uh, on the 11th and 12th of November under the theme making microfinance work for the unsaved and of course inclusion of persons with disabilities and this conference is the first of its kind here in Uganda and on uh, the international scene it would be a forum for presentation of practices innovations and research results in the fields of microfinance disability and inclusion it will be one of the activities uh, meant to mark the month activities for the international day of persons with disabilities which will be on the 3rd december 2014. now uh, joining me in the studio is edson njiraba kunzi the executive director of the uh, national union of disabled persons of uganda and uh, is, is going to tell us about this conference and of course, access to credit for persons with disabilities. You are very welcome, Edson Njirawa Kunzi. Thank you. It's very unique here. them there. Good. So, how yeah. are people with uh, disabilities affected by mm -hmm. access to credit? The first update us: uh, how mm -hmm. how is it? Uh, are people uh, with disabilities able to access mm -hmm. credit without all these mm -hmm. hurdles? We say. Um, first and foremost, I think uh, persons with disabilities are part of the general population that um, should access as uh, citizens, including microfinance. So as a National Union of Disabled Persons of Uganda, we started a project far away in 2010 mm -hmm. to test ideas on how we can get the best models to ensure that persons with disabilities access finances or credit mm -hmm. with the challenges notwithstanding. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, I am here to say that the conference is not from 11th to 12th November 2012. Okay. So Briefly, if I take us yep. through some of the uh, like two challenges yep. that uh, people mm -hmm. with disabilities face mm -hmm. uh, when it mm -hmm. comes to access to credit. First and foremost is the attitude. Mm -hmm. The attitude that persons with disabilities cannot get credit and utilize it effectively. And you want to demystify that in the conference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of the issues. Mm -hmm. Two is that, of course, the other challenge is um, the access to microfinance institutions in terms of physical access and information is still a gap we want to address mm -hmm. and the best practice to this. Okay, so uh, there's just a lot of things that are affecting people with disabilities yeah. as we see as usual, very many of them. Yeah. So tell us about the conference yeah. and, um, you know, beyond, um, you know, talking mm -hmm. about finding uh, solutions for, um, mm -hmm. you know, access to credit for people with disabilities yeah. and all that, what other critical things are you yeah. intending to look at? Um, first and foremost, we've, we've organized an international conference, as you know, rightly noted. Mm -hmm. It is the first of its kind in Uganda and also internationally. This is the first conference. And we have speakers from both international and national speakers. We have professors from the University of Harvard. We have other colleagues in the Netherlands. We have all over the place. So the, 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 the whole essence of this conference is to showcase the touch the appropriate approaches once integrated, once adopted and utilized, can put these people to another level. Where are we so far? What needs to be improved? 
be improved. Um, there are several levels. The, at implementation level at, and at practice level. Yeah. To improve. One, the financial policies to recognize the needs of personal forms of access to services. And also by the standards in terms of access to financial institutions. Yeah information accessible formats of course and also providing for physical access of the spaces where these financial institutions are and incidentally by the way we have examples of disabled persons who have benefited right. through credit and have made it for as we talk right now we have six thousand persons with disabilities who have accessed credit and are doing well and they're improving on the lives of their communities Edson Njaba Kunzi means I, I attract friends all of us. Yes, exactly. Thank you very much. The Executive Director of the National Union of Disabled Persons of Uganda. That conference will be on. Please attend. Moving on, Sadlin is back this year with uh, a new promotion uh, drive codenamed Scratch for a Car. The Managing Director, Chris Nugent, said every participant is a winner as compared to the previous ones who uh, where one out of two uh, can scratch cards carried a prize. Nugent said one only has to buy paint worth 100,000 shillings, which allows them to scratch a card and entry into the draw. Let's look at this. <laughs> Since it is a page with some instant prizes as well. so they will also get a message whatever they are they are winning airtime and mobile phone and TVs. We we've, we've decided slightly different this year in that every single card will be a winning card and we will run ten weekly draws where we will give away a car for you to win a card. This is NTV at 1 and those few stories there bring us to the end of this bulletin for now but you can check on to NTV's Facebook page and our Twitter. Look for at NTV Uganda to see more updates of some of the stories that we are working on and coming up is Sports which is all memory and don't forget to check into your Google Play and download NTV Mobile to be able to watch your favorite programs wherever you are and whenever you want to. Have a good afternoon.